Concessionary travel. This means you can get free or discounted travel passes. Bus pass or travel vouchers. Disabled people who live in England can get a bus pass or a travel voucher and use it anywhere in England. They can be used between 9.30am to 11pm, Monday to Friday and at any time in the weekends and bank holidays. If you have a pass voucher from Hampshire County Council, using it in Portsmouth and Southampton will be on a different schemes. Hampshire County Council has various schemes that you can apply for a pass or voucher. Older persons. This can be used from 9am to 11pm, Monday to Friday and any time during the weekends and bank holidays. Disabled persons. This can be used any time of any day. Travel vouchers. These can be used for taxis, dial a ride, call and go and other transport organisations. You will need to check before you travel as some organisations may accept vouchers and some may not. Travel vouchers are for those who are disabled and prefer not to have a bus pass. Companion passes. If you are unable to travel alone, you are able to travel with a companion on the bus. The companion would need to use the pass. When receiving the companion pass, there is no name on it allowing different people to travel with you for each journey. The pass can be used all over Hampshire, including Wiltshire. Hampshire County Council fund the various passes and vouchers, but only for Hampshire residents. If you start your journey outside of Hampshire, coming into Hampshire using the parcel vouchers for taxis, etc., you would need to check beforehand as funding is set up differently. Although Portsmouth and Southampton are based in Hampshire, they are their own unitary authorities, therefore their policies on the use of parcel vouchers will differ from Hampshire County Council and you will need to check before. If you are from outside Hampshire, you may use your pass after 9.30am. In some cases, you may have to pay for a travel companion, so it is always best to check beforehand. Application forms. You can ask for an application form at your local council or you can download a form from our website www.hance.gov.uk forward slash concessionary dash travel or by telephone 0845 045 8355 or via email concessionary.fares at hance.gov dot uk complete your form and post it to concessionary travel PO box 696 Fairham Hampshire PO 149 PD You will need to include with your application form the following. A passport sized photograph of yourself with your name and date of birth written on the back. Proof of age and address for the older person's bus pass. Proof of disability for the disabled person's bus pass or vouchers. A letter from a medical professional for a companion pass.
Please only send copies of documents as originals will not be returned back to you. Once the application has been approved, your bus pass or vouchers will be sent to your address. How do I renew my pass? A new bus pass will be renewed automatically for up to five years. The council will check for any changes in your medical condition, whether you still have hearing loss, visual impairment, or in a wheelchair, etc. We would also do the other checks, including the National Fraud Initiative. All being well, you would continue to receive the renewed bus pass. If you have changed your address, you will need to inform the council to ensure you receive your pass. Am I eligible? You will have to complete an application form with the proof of age and disability and you will be assessed for eligibility. What is the eligible age? It would be best to check on our website or you can contact the concessionary travel team via email and ask them what the eligible age is for the older person's bus pass. You can also check the DirectGov website on what the age is. As the female retirement age has now been tapered up from 60 to 65, the eligible age has now been set to 65. This part of the website also has information on public community and school transport, community transport services such as dial a ride, call and go, shop mobility and more. Transport and road improvement schemes. Traffic management including traffic calming, speed limits and more. You can also get a up to the minute road and public transport travel. Plan your journey by bus, coach or train. For example, access the website for information to help you plan a route. Check the roads with our traffic cameras. Check a route to see if it is quiet or busy. Safer routes to schools for pupils, teachers, governors and parents. Help with transport to school. Hence car share, the easy way to share a car in Hampshire. You can also report a pothole or other problems with roads, street lighting or traffic lights. Snow, ice and road salting. Report if snow or adverse weather requires the roads to be salted, etc. Street lighting, roadworks in Hampshire, highways public notices, road safety, motorways and trunk roads maintained by the highways agency, land charges and highway status information, Car parking, find out about car parks and park and ride.
access to work. If you are unable to commute to work by bus or train because of your disability, you can ask access to work for help. They may be able to contribute towards taxi fares or adjusting your vehicle to enable you to continue driving to work. You can have a look on the gov.uk website for more information. Disabled Persons Rail Card If you find it difficult to use the train on a regular basis due to your disability, you may be eligible to buy a Disabled Persons Rail Card. This can be valid for one year or three years. Either one year or three year cards entitle you to a one third discount off your travel. The card enables you to travel for cheaper. A carer or companion travelling with you would also be entitled to one third of their train fare. You can obtain an application form from a train station or online. If you need proof of your disability, Hampshire County Council can authorise the form. NHS hospital travel costs. If you or a member of your family has been for a hospital appointment, you may be able to claim for your travel expenses. You can claim using the Hampshire Social Security form HC5. You can get the HC5 form from a job centre, NHS hospital or any main post office. From the date of travel, you have up to three months to make the claim. You may also be able to claim for fares such as taxi, bus or train if these were the only way to attend your appointment. Please remember to keep all the receipts to submit with the HC5 form. If you need a companion to travel with you, their fares may also be reimbursed. Again, please keep all the receipts in order to claim. You can check the website for more information www.nhs.uk forward slash NHS England forward slash health costs forward slash pages forward slash travel costs dot ASPX.